Hey guys, it's Theme Yourself here with a video on a really cool Cydia download called Iconoclasm. And it is pay for in Cydia, but we're going to add a source. Go to Manage and Sources so that you can get it for free. So, Manage Sources, Edit, and Add. And you're going to be adding Cydia dot exalize dot com slash so this is a really cool source with lots of different downloads that are really cool you should just kind of browse through it sometime but right now we're going to go into the source and go down to i for iconoclasm and you should see it there right there iconoclasm so it's in blue and you're gonna want to select that and it's gonna say install where it says modify for me in the top right where you see that little spinning icon so you're gonna wanna click on that and install it and you're gonna have to restart your springboard and I would also recommend that you install the iconoclasm layout pack because it comes with a lot of really cool layouts that are all bundled up so you don't have to fish around for them so you, you're going to also want to install that and once you're done with that you're not going to have an iconoclasm icon but it actually adds a little slot in, in the settings application so go into settings this is actually iconoclasm right here so you're going to want to go into settings and scroll down and there's iconoclasm so you're gonna select that and if you scroll down you can see that there's a simple mode where you can select a certain number of rows and columns if you want and space in between and there's also layouts you can choose and this is the layouts that you downloaded so right now I'm running ring which is really cool and just for reference this is what it looks like right now so this is this is ring now, um, they have tons of really cool things like 3x3 three three or 5x5 five five and triangle. It's really cool. So you guys should, you know, find one you like. They even make letters. So just for point of emphasis, I'm going to select X to show you what it looks like. And you hit apply changes and respring or just respring it, whatever. And there you go. So without using iBlinks at all, it changes all of your pages. To look like the icons are in X's. It's really cool, you guys. Really helpful, really easy. And it's awesome. So you should just go download it right now. If you haven't already. Okay, see you later.